Every year, Ocean Conservancy scientists take on projects in search of the most innovative and effective ways to keep our ocean healthy. This year, we're building upon the annual cleanup, which takes trash off our shores and out of the ocean. And you can help. Your donation to support Ocean Conservancy's projects will protect sea turtles and marine wildlife, clean beaches, and a healthy ocean around the world. For most people, trash is just litter. It's unsightly, they don't want to sit on the beach with a bunch of litter around them, but really it's an extraordinarily complex uh, topic and it has far-reaching uh, impl implications for uh, the health of, and welfare of the environment and uh, the people who uh, use our beaches and coastlines. One of Ocean Conservancy's signature programs is the International Coastal Cleanup. And for more than 25 years now, Ocean Conservancy has been organizing these volunteer-based uh, cleanup efforts on coastlines around uh, uh, not only the United States, but a hundred different countries around the world. When Ocean Conservancy reports on the trash that's been picked up, we simply report them as a numerical count of the items picked up by volunteers. What Trash Lab is about is to help us um, take a closer look at the types of trash that are coming in in the, the coastal cleanup so we really can understand what are the most important types of trash to prevent reaching the ocean. The ecological impact of a cigarette bud isn't equal to the ecological impact of a fishing net. And that's where Trash Lab comes in. So we selected three beaches picked up the trash from there um, with our partners Save Our Shores, uh, brought that trash back to the warehouse and began, began the sorting process uh, where we aimed to collect 250 items of each of these groups and got average weights for those items. By looking at weight, we get an alternative or a different perspective on the composition of trash in the sea. Uh, even on seemingly clean beaches that I visited uh, when I was shifting the sand around, I was personally amazed by how much microplastics I was finding. And I had a, a handful of microplastic in the end of a five minute search. In addition to getting average weights within Trash Lab, we also were interested in better understanding microplastics. We cut up pieces of plastic fragments, uh, put them into well plates, and had them sent out to a lab to identify what type of plastic um, that plastic piece was. The amount of trash that's brought in in the coastal cleanup is a drop in the bucket compared to what actually ends up in the ocean. And it's easy to be totally overwhelmed by this idea of, of uh, trash and marine debris and how to stop it. That's really the ultimate motivation for this is to help guide ocean conservancies um, efforts and priorities in terms of stopping trash at the source. Trash Lab was made possible by supporters like you. A healthy planet depends on a healthy ocean. Help us continue to keep our ocean and wildlife safe by donating today.